Hello and welcome. Native Linux on Apple Silicon M1 chips is under heavy development and has recently become usable, but still not great, so I'm always looking for alternatives. A couple of weeks ago, I talked about creating a small VM using Parallels and Fedora. I've been using Parallels for 10 years and have a subscription. This costs money, so how about a no-cost or free alternative? Let's look at one solution now. WebTops, by the linuxserver.io crew, provides a complete Linux desktop environment running in your web browser. It's built on Docker's Linux kit kernel with QEMU and uses the Guacamole web client for some surprisingly good results. Today, we'll set up an Ubuntu XFCE environment. Let's get started. So here we are on our macOS Big Sur desktop, so it's launch Safari. Let's go to the Docker site under products. Let's do the Docker desktop and download it for Macs with an Apple chip. And uh, once that's downloaded in our downloads folder, we'll uh, mount the image. We'll skip verifying. We'll assume that's correct. Let's drag and drop the application into the Applications folder. Let that happen. OK, it's almost done here. OK, it's done. Let's eject Docker. And uh, let's launch it. This will launch, yeah. This will launch the dashboard eventually, so it'll set itself up. And we're standing by for the dashboard. And there it is. We don't have any containers running yet. But first, let's click the gear and look at the preferences. So we've got under general, automatically check for updates, uh, start Docker desktop when you log in, including VM and time machine. GRPC fuse for file sharing, users, usage statistics, show weekly tips, and open Docker dashboard at startup. Under resources, this is more important. I've got uh, CPUs set to four for the container. Uh, I like to assign four gigs of RAM, roughly half of my machine uh, for memory, and a one gigabyte swap and 60 gigabytes for the root file system of the resulting container. File sharing, you've got users, volumes, private temp and var folders. Those look good. We won't bother with proxies today. The network, we've got our own private secure subnet, 192.168.65/24. Docker engine is version 20.10.8 today. Under experimental procedures, I like to use Docker Compose version 2 release candidate. I have good results with that. Uh, under Kubernetes, um, yeah, we don't work with Kubernetes uh, this time. So let's close out the preferences. Yeah, let's launch a terminal. And so we're running Darwin, the latest macOS Big Sur release. So let's create the uh, webtop slash config directory um, structure for our container to store its permanent files, or persistent files, rather. ID, we've got a user ID of 502 on demo. The group ID is 20, staff. So we'll keep those two IDs in mind because we'll need that those to set up the uh, Docker container. So let's uh, switch over to the WebTop uh, GitHub Linux server project page. This is a fantastic project. I really like what they're doing here. Um, under supported architectures, they have x86-64, 
ARM64, which we're using today, and ARM HF for hardware floating point. So we've got the latest, which is XFC Alpine. Today we're using Ubuntu-XFCE. We also have Alpine KDE, Ubuntu KDE, Alpine Mate, or Mate, Ubuntu Mate, Alpine i3, Ubuntu i3, Alpine Openbox, Ubuntu Openbox, Alpine ICE Window Manager, and Ubuntu ICE Window Manager, all very lightweight desktop environments. Webtop can be accessed at your host um, 3000 port. Default user path is ABC. And we'll definitely be changing our password later. And we'll use that uh, login page uh, after that's done. And again, like I said, we're using Guacamole Remote Desktop with an on screen keyboard feature, very good for touchscreen devices, clients. So here we're using the recommended Docker Compose method. And we've got a nice template here. So let's um, uh, do nano docker-compose.yml for our YAML file. Let's go over here and copy, select, and then copy, and then paste. And we're gonna have to do some modifications here. So uh, for the image, we want to add the tag colon ubuntu-xfce. So I'll download the right image. Um, privilege true is fine. The PUID will be 502 and the PGID will be 20. We'll map it to my uh, UIDs. The time zone, although um, this container will not honor this, but I put it in there anyway. The time zone is America, Los Angeles for me. Uh, we'll comment out the subfolder section. We don't need that. Under volumes, we've got the shared uh, directory for persistence. It'll be uh, users slash demo slash webtop slash config which we just created earlier. And that'll map to the slash config directory, which is the ABC's home directory in the container. We'll comment out the docker.sock stuff. The ports internal and external will be 3000 map together. The shared memory size will be two gigabytes. That's not RAM per se, that is referring to slash dev slash SHM for shared memory. That's the interface. Uh, for uh, temp file system or temporary file system uh, sharing for applications such as Firefox that need the extra um, need the extra uh, space on that file system. So that all looks good. Let's save it and close it. Let's do docker dash compose up dash D that should read the YAML file which is created and pull in all the images to assemble the container for us. So let's let it do that. It goes pretty quickly. It assembles the Ubuntu dash XFCE container from a whole bunch of images you see here, including Linux kit. All right, so the container web top has been started. That was pretty painful and quick, a painless and quick rather. Um, let's do a Docker info quickly and take a look at what we have here. So we've got the usual plugins here. So you can take a look at the uh, version numbers. The server has one container and it's running from one image that we just assembled. So our version is 20.10.8. Uh, back, backing file system is extfs. So yeah, I've got volumes, local networking. Oh yeah, the kernel version is from Linux Kit, which is, comes from uh, Docker. 
5.10.47. Operating system is Docker Desktop. The OS type is Linux. Architecture is ARM64. Four CPUs as configured, as well as four gigs of memory. Looking pretty good. All right. So here's our image. Docker Images shows us we've got web tab, web top, rather. Can't talk today. Uh, tag is Ubuntu XFCE. It's three days old, so there may be updates. In the meantime, so let's check that. Uh, let's go to our running desktop. So it's localhost colon 3000. And that launches the guacamole client. And let's launch the terminal within our container. Everything seems very snappy. Let's do a uname dash a, and here you can see we're running the 5.10.47 Linux, Linux kit kernel, the ARM64 version, or ARCH64. Free uh, dash H shows a total uh, RAM of 3.8 GB bytes, one GB byte of swap as configured, and of that we're using 645 MB bytes. So it's a very lightweight desktop, XFCE is. Let's check the LSB release file. And yes, indeed, we can confirm we're running Ubuntu 20.04 Focal, the 20.04.3 Ubuntu LTS release. Okay, so nothing surprising there. Got a full environment here. As you can see, the time is still set to UTC, so it's ignoring my YAML file, so we'll fix that. Let's sudo rm slash etsy slash local time and get rid of that since it's incorrect and do a new link sudo ln dash s slash use usr slash share slash zone info slash america slash los angeles and we'll point that to slash etsy slash local time Good, and that will take effect next time we boot, a reboot, a restart rather, the container. So next, let's sudo apt update and then sudo apt dist upgrade dash y to, and let it do its upgrading or updating thing. That happens very quickly. So it had some updates since three days ago. Not too many, as you can see. So let's go back to the dashboard running on the host and let's go ahead and restart since we just did a disk upgrade. So we're restarting the container. Okay, it just that happens very quickly in a few seconds. So let's reload the page, which is our freshly updated desktop. As you can see, the time now matches. I'm in the correct US Pacific time zone. All right, let's make this term a little bigger and let's do a sudo apt update. As you can see, uh, even after a restart of the container, the uh, patches are persistent. So next, let's sudo apt install NeoFetch. So that will pull in a whole bunch of packages. All right, and it's done already. So let's run NeoFetch, and there you go. So again, as we saw before, 20.04.3 LTS, 5.10.47 Linux kit. It's all running on the ARM64 platform over QEMU on top of the M1 chip. For CPUs, it's reporting one gigabyte roughly uh, of RAM used. So let's take a look at the file system uh, storage usage, We're running 6% of the uh, 60 gigabytes overlay that we configured on the dashboard. And here's our uh, shared memory temporary file system. As configured, uh, it's, uh, it's two uh, gigabytes. Here's our fuse file system slash config which is 
fused with webtop config on our host. All right, so let's uh, launch Firefox within the container, as you can see, with adequate uh, uh, shared memory, uh, it runs pretty well. So let's Google for web tops and let's click on the Linux server.io page. Um, and yeah, it's a guacamole server and the XRDB server. It runs Pulse Audio and a bunch of other stuff. All baked into this container. This is amazing. Okay, let's switch back to the host terminal on Mac. And let's check, check out the uh, config subdirectory under webtop. As you can see, this is the user ABC's home directory. And this is persistent, which means if the container is running or stopped, um, you can make changes in here and have them stay. So, yeah. Well, that's cool. Let's close uh, Firefox in the container. Let's clear the terminal. And let's change that password from ABC to a new password once and a new password twice. Okay, so now that the password has been changed, um, for good measure, let me go back to the uh, dashboard here and restart our webtop container. Should just take a few seconds, there it is. And let's uh, close this tab, let's reopen and go to the new link, which is localhost colon 3000 slash question login equals true. And let's hit enter here for our uh, Xorg uh, session login. So username is still ABC and we'll put in the new password I just gave it and hit enter and there we go. So um, very good. So here are the applications menu. Uh, I've got web browser, file manager, not too much here. Again, we'll probably need to add a whole bunch of stuff here. Mousepad, Thunar file manager, the Firefox web browser that we just used. Um, a couple of terminals here. And there's the about XFCE desktop environment. We're running a little bit older version. Uh, 4.14, I believe 4.16 is the most recent one. Well, this is great. This is the uh, Focal Fossa Ubuntu XFCE environment. Of course, there are other solutions for getting your Linux fix on your Apple Silicon M1 based Mac, such as the UTM project, which also is based on QEMU virtualization. Let me know in the comments below if you would like me to go over that in the future. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. If you found this video useful, please like and subscribe to support more of these. Until next time, take care.